Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about cliches. Now, cliches is an expression, idea, or element in a story that's just been overused. And obviously when you're writing a novel, you don't want that. First, there are many examples. The love trying. The fact that rainy weather means something sad or bad is about to happen. The bad guy is somehow related to the main character. A school where you can learn magic. Vampires. The Hunger Games isn't one yet, but I'm sure dystopian novels will be at some point. One of the first things you can do to avoid a cliche is do the opposite of what you planned. If your character is expected to be really nice and go to charity work, have them do something bad instead, like vandalism. Avoid stereotypes. Take the stereotype and twist it around so much it's not even considered a stereotype anymore. Use your imagination to mix up things as much as you can. Create your own creatures and weapons and make something completely up. That's what fictional books are about. You can completely make something up and sound totally insane, yet it's acceptable. Have your characters be different ages. Instead of having a whole group of teenagers go on an adventure together, throw in maybe a little kid or an adult really mix it up and even try for di different genders instead of having a group of all girls or all boys. One of the best things you can do is surprise your reader and I have two books that do exactly that. We have Sight by Adrian Maria Veretos. I just finished reading it maybe two days ago and it was amazing. It's actually signed. I didn't get it signed in person. I actually found it at the bookstore like that, but it's still really good. And then we have Rapture by Lauren Kate. And oh my god, the ending of this book was absolutely amazing. I could not put it down. I have it like dog-eared where my favorite parts of where the action like really started and I couldn't put it down. It was just way too good. But the reason why these two books were so amazing was because the ending was a huge surprise to me. I couldn't even guess it. As a reader, that's an amazing thing to experience. To be sitting there reading and being like, whoa, I didn't know that was gonna happen. You're just glued to the book from then. That is a good novel. One of my favorite ways to avoid a cliche is to take a cliche and twist it so much that it's no longer a cliche. Take the fact that a sunny day usually means happiness. And instead, have it be sunny, there's a rainbow in the sky, and then some huge tragedy happens and totally shifts that. Or you could have it be gloomy and rainy and have it be maybe the happiest day for the character. And it just takes that element of cliche away. So surprise the reader. It's one of the best things you can do and it creates a good novel. You don't want cliches in your book because then it just seems generic. So comment below with your favorite way of avoiding cliches in writing. I hope you guys liked this video and don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Facebook, and comment below for future ideas. Time, Time supposedly, supposedly heals for some, some reason thinking that will help. How can you know that one Something through it. Is it when you forget out later that there are even after you're